just before the video starts make sure you go and check out my website ystech.org this is the place where you're going to be finding the latest news and everything great in technology from reviews to tutorials and much more so make sure you go check it out in the description ystech.org i'll see you there Hey guys, it is Wise from Wise Tech here, and today we're going to be looking at is it even worth it to build a computer in New Zealand right now? So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've found. Now, these are all online comparisons, so all the prices are taken from online, and I'd highly suggest you go check out my website or the U other link in the description for the other YouTube video called the Best Gaming PC Build in New Zealand in April and I've got some really solid advice in there especially if you're on a budget like this. Now this is a uh, comparison onto the parts you could have got last year in comparison to this year so I'm going to show you what's happened to the prices. So we're going to kick off the build with the CPU here. Now I've got the C same CPU from last year and you can see that's $158 from Mighty Ape at a um, 4 core processor clocked at 3.6 gigahertz. I mean, it's not the best CPU, but you are on a budget and it's not bad. Um, I mean, you can get better stuff um, at a higher price, but let's just see the comparison here. And now this CPU is ranging at about $180. So that's literally nearly a 20 to $30 rise in price from last year. And I mean, there's nothing different about the CPU. It's the same CPU, it's just increased in price. And now, given um, this. Uh, build was made around a time specials do happen um, in that time of year because I was made in November last year but uh, prices have uh, increased quite a bit I'd say on several parts and uh, we'll just go through them one by one and I'll show you why it's not really that worth it to build brand new right now so let's head over to the other CPU you can get the other one I would recommend is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Now I haven't done a comparison for this one, but I have seen it going up in price, and it's about $230 or $250 from First Wave PC from First Wave or PB Tech, and you can see they're actually out of stock. They're quite popular. Um, that's the one I'd recommend you guys just save up for. It's quite a bit of a better processor, and uh, we've also got the 3600 if you can afford it. It's a bit pricey. It's about 350 bucks from uh, PB Tech. You can see it's also out of stock. They're very popular, and uh, I can see why it's just high pro uh, price to performance. Now, if you're building brand new, I'd highly recommend go second hand. Seriously, you're gonna you can build a computer for about seven to nine hundred dollars, but hey, brand new it ain't gonna be too flash. It's it's not worth it for the future. And if you think about it, if you just save a little bit more and you spend a little bit more time saving up, you're going to be getting something better. Now, this is the Intel comparison as well. Um, this is the Intel i5-9400F, and for some reason I've been a bit um, ignorant or out of the loop, and I wasn't aware of the CPU for a little while. Um, this CPU is for gaming out of the box, and it is one of the best gaming CPUs you can actually purchase. It's from Intel, it's about 260 bucks from Playtech or First Wave PC, but hell, it's a good CPU. Um, just for pure gaming, um, if you're not doing any rendering or video editing or anything like that, um, then go for this guy. It is super, super good, and it's about a hundred, uh, oh sorry, $258, so it's um, on par with the 2600 and sometimes the 3600 I'm pretty sure as well uh, in terms of pure gaming and um, this thing is actually really good paired with a cool graphics card it's, it's, it's actually quite nice it's a 2.9 gigahertz CPU and it's a 6 core processor so um, it's going to do pretty well I mean in terms of gaming pure gaming it's great but in terms of things like video editing or stuff like that the more intensive stuff it ain't too hot, the Ryzen tends to outshine it. So, I mean, let's go on to the motherboards now and I'll show you guys the price difference. Okay, so I am i don't know why I recommend an NA320. Uh, a motherboards are actually trash, don't buy them. And if you do have them, don't, don't worry. <laughs> if it breaks, then return it and get something else. So, uh, this one's about 100 bucks, but I would not recommend an A-series a motherboard for Ryzen anymore. And, um, 
you can see the price difference for this B450M-K. It's a little bit of a lower end board, but it is a B450 motherboard. It's about $120 from Playtech. It's about $20 uh, more expensive, but it's a lot better. And if we actually find the A320 from last year, I can actually show you the, the price difference. Let me just go here and find it. So you can actually see the difference in price. It's $104 is the cheapest one from Paradium PCs or PC Force for $110. And it used to be $96 if I can see that properly from First Wave. And uh, that's <laughs> about an $8 increase. And uh, that's, that's crazy. I mean, uh, prices are going up and I can't fault that. It, they are actually going up. But if you compare something to something like the B450, the lowest end model, um, you're getting a lot more value for money. But prices are expensive, especially for brand new right now. And that's what I'm trying to point out. So for the Intel board as well, if you guys need an Intel board for the uh, i5-9400, uh, then you guys can go with the B365 M-A. I'm pretty sure that's a good board. Um, nothing too fancy about it. <laughs> I'll have some new videos coming up uh, hopefully soon about what you guys can do um, in terms of more expensive builds. <laughs> I'd highly suggest you guys go watch those as well. So for last year's build, I actually went with a single stick of 8 GB RAM. And now this is also a mistake on my part. Um, you should not get a single stick for Ryzen, especially for like especially for Ryzen CPUs from AMD, as they really benefit from dual channel. And a lot of games nowadays do rely on dual channel quite a bit, as far as I've been informed. And um, I've gone with two sticks of Crucial 8 gig, and uh, you can see it prices that's about 50 bucks from last year. This one's about 67. So, I mean, not exactly the straight comparison, but we can actually look at what it was uh, specifically for last year. And we can see here it's increased by about $26. Um, the cheapest you can get was $51 from PB Tech. And you can go to Paradium PCs now, and the cheapest from them, or cheapest overall, is from Paradium PCs, and it's $76. Now, that is, that is expensive. Um, that is not cheap that it is actually expensive so i'd highly recommend you guys wait for some specials now i got two sticks of ddr ddr3 uh, here 2666 um, megahertz ran i put two of them in this build and i want to show you guys why pcs have gone up in price i mean the, i just wanted to prove the point that they are a bit more expensive even in comparison to last year and they're just increasing and increasing so let's go ahead and go over to the so we've got the Crucial BX500 240GB SSD and that's $67 and that's gone up by about $17, $16, dollars from last year. You can get it from $51 from PB Tech and now it's $67 from PB Tech. Now um, given that the current situation, I mean usually you'd think prices would fall but it actually looks like prices have rose. Maybe. Uh, demand is increased that much that they saw that they could increase their prices. Um, I don't know. Uh, it just seems like these prices have gone up a lot. I mean, there could be a several factors of that um, for prices going on computer components. You know, lack of supply, lack of uh, the demand. Oh, sorry, increased demand, and uh, many other external factors that can factor into these. And it's really hard to pinpoint sometimes. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, let's go over to the graphics card now. And we got the uh, MSI RX 570 4 gig card. Um, my friend has a 470 that he does pretty well. And he doesn't play too intensive games. He doesn't play AAA titles. So, I mean, this card is pretty good for like Fortnite and League of Legends and Dota and some like medium gameplay, uh, medium graphics gameplay on Apex Legends. And um, you can see here it's two hundred and seventy nine dollars from PC uh, from Computer Lounge, sorry. And last year was two hundred and twenty nine dollars from First Wave. So I mean that's quite a bit of an increase, guys. That's like a fifty buck increase, fifty dollars increase, and that's quite a bit. I mean like really, that's not the best price you want to be paying. And I'll get to the thing you're probably wondering about at the end of this video is is it worth it to buy it right now or do you think the prices will fall do you, or do you think the prices will rise in the future is more like the better uh, statement so let's go over to 
the uh, case um, now, now in terms of cases this is a bit of a funny one I've actually found that cases have fallen in price and the quality of them has risen and um, in terms of functionality they look a hell of a lot better you know you can see this one is $59 from deep cool and I mean it's got a tempered glass apparently this guy has bad reviews but I think it looks good I've seen it in real life as well I mean it looks pretty pretty decent for what it is um, $50, $59, $60 from Mighty Ape. Hey, that's pretty nice. And uh, you can see last year the deep cool frame micro ATX mid tower that was about $54 from PC, uh, PB Tech. And I mean, that ain't a too hot looking case, man. That's just pretty ugly. But cases, hell yeah, they're gone up in uh, value for money, in my opinion, especially in uh, functionality and features. And let's go over to the power supply now. Um, last year I went with a Corsair VS450 watt and I don't think it's available anymore. So I had to pick the uh, next best option which was the EVGA BR500 watt 80 plus. And in terms of power supplies, I really haven't seen too much of a shift in price. I see maybe a 5 to $10 increase on some power supplies in comparison to last year. But realistically, not really in my opinion. And... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just two of these parts, the case and power supply don't really tend to change as much in price. So let's see here the overall build price. So last year I said this build was about $720. Now this year, the same or same or similar build, let's say, is $949 including shipping. Or $945 before shipping. And last year's build is was two parts not uh, not applicable anymore, and uh, that was about seven hundred twenty dollars. So you can see the massive increase there. I mean, really, like this is so expensive. Um, <laughs> it's just hard to fathom how prices can increase this much for the same parts. I mean, obviously inflation and all of that, and um, determinants in the market. Uh, to play in the prices changing so dramatically as well and uh, also things like sales I'm pretty sure I did that video during sales and uh, there obviously no sales right now so a bit of an unfair comparison but I was looking to make a budget PC build right now to upload and I really couldn't find one it's, it's just not worth it like this is a $229 increase from last year $229 that is insane. I cannot believe that this $700 build from last year is now $949 brand new. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's crazy. And if you guys want to look at price history, um, you can go on uh, pricespy.com. Uh, uh, pricebuy.co.nz sorry and there's also one other website I can't remember what also one more thing here I've actually found uh, you can scroll down on PC part picker itself so and you can scroll down here and you can actually see the prices uh, price history of the uh, component you're trying to buy just scroll down and it says price history click on the individual product on PC part picker and you'll be able to see the individual price you don't have to go to those external websites and you can see the one of the cheapest prices for this card was probably about uh, 215 from first wave PC last year. So you guys can see how prices have increased quite considerably um, from this year. So you guys can see last year the average there and what the average is now. <laughs> so you can check your uh, price history and see what you want to do. You can go to a website like priceme.co.nz or you can go to PriceBuy and click on statistics. I mean, PriceBuy hasn't got all the suppliers listed for some reason. That's actually quite inaccurate. But on PriceMe, they've got the price history if you scroll down and you can see how much it's increased or decreased. Like you can see last year, I mean, that's almost $320 there um, just before November and it fell right to $190 on specials probably and it's just been hovering about 240, 240, 240, 40. And then it just fell and then you can see now it's just risen back to that uh, crazy old price. I mean realistically you can see how it's actually decreased from last year and you can see the advantage of taking off uh, the advantage of taking specials instead of just uh, buying like you are right now that's really not the smartest thing to do if you wait to specials like in November 
if you wait for specials um, throughout the year, you'll be finding a lot of specials and uh, they're going to be holding you pretty well because you'll be saving your money. You can see here in about March or so that dropped to about $190 in New Zealand. So, I mean, yeah, this sums up the video. But the prices ain't too hot, guys. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'd highly recommend you guys go check out this video. I'll put it in the link in the description. The best gaming PC build in New Zealand April 2020. And I've got some cool-ass advice here. And I'd highly recommend you guys could go secondhand if you have to buy a PC right now. As a uh, budget build so ain't too hot. Or any build, for that matter, isn't too... Uh, value for money <laughs> isn't too good on your pocket right now so i mean that about sums up the video thank you guys very much for watching make sure you can check out ys tech for, for the latest post reviews and much more i'll see you guys there at ys tech Talk. but other than that i hope you guys have an awesome day stay safe stay healthy take care of you guys and make sure you save a bit of money and uh, look at the advice i give so i'll see you guys around bye mm -hmm.